What's up y'all, it's your boy Chris here, your one and only Data Bunny. So this quick video, I'm gonna go over how I am going to be doing my studying for the CCMP Enterprise, right? So um, what I do is I watch the video course. I don't take any notes, I just watch the video course. And um, pretty much I break it down. So I feel like with the CCMP, I wanna try to do it a slightly different I want to break down um, this entire course in bits and pieces so that I can just digest the information easier. So I go on CBT Nuggets. This is who I what I'm going to be using as the video source, and I am going to pretty much just watch each one. So I've already watched about six skills. So explain the hierarchical uh, network model. It, explain enterprise network design, describe high availability techniques, analyze wireless LAN design principles, differentiate between on-prem and cloud deployments, explain the principles of SD-WAN. So that's like six. I've already watched all of them. So now what I do is I will just write those down. Okay, these are my video breaks. These are the topics, the skills, that I am going to now study through in the the Cisco Press book. So this is the CCMP CCIE Enterprise Core Second Edition Cert Guide, and here I pretty much go over the lessons that are explained, the skills that are explained in CBT Nuggets, and I find those chapters in the book. So here, explain the hierarchical network model, right? I find net enterprise network architecture and then hierarchical land design model. And then what's cool is we also get the high availability network design. And that was um, one of the skills that was in CBT Nuggets. So we get that in this chapter along with enterprise network architecture options, right? That's explain enterprise network design. That That's all, that, pretty much three of these skills are already in this one chapter alone. So that's what I do. So then once I do that, I will go ahead and once I finish reading all that content, analyze wireless LAN design principles. Um, so I usually would go back into the front of the book and then I will find that chapter. So it'll be, here's chapter five. We are going to look for the wireless section of the book. So the wireless chapter that we have here, wireless the overlay tunnels, um, quality of service. Here it is. So we got wireless. This is part. This is the whole entire part, right? Chapter 17, wireless signals and modulation. Understanding basic wireless theory, right? Um, and then we got wireless infrastructure, right? So this is most likely the design section, just based off of the, the content that I read in the video. And what they're talking about, autonomous deployment, Cisco AP operations, Cisco wireless deployment, AP states, discovering a wireless LAN controller. All this was pretty much what they talked about in the video. So I go to 552, right? Page 552. And I will then, here it is, wireless infrastructure, chapter 18. Wireless deployment, pairing lightweight APs and wireless LAN controllers, segmenting wireless configuration, leveraging antennas. Analyze wireless design. This is all in it. So I will read chapter 18. And then once I finish chapter 18, then I will go to, okay, the stuff about on-prem and cloud. Find that chapter in this book. And then what I'll do next, explain the principles SD-WAN, right? Find that chapter in this book. And then once I'm done with that, once I'm doing all six of these skills, then I will go back to the video course and then watch the next six, the next six. So the next six will be identify Cisco SD-WAN components, explain, explain Cisco SD-WAN services, explain the principles of SD-Access, explain SD-Access fabric operation, identify SD access components, explain SD access services. There's a lot of SD, it's a lot of software defined when access uh, content for the next, the next six. So that's most likely going to be in the chapter that I will be last on. Maybe it's going to extend another chapter. 
but I'm just going to keep doing it and just keep staying consistent with that. And um, besides the, just the reading and the watching, whatever, wherever that I can do a lab on, I will do it. So I'm more, I'm, I'm more than positive that this wireless chapter, when, once I get to the wireless LAN controller stuff, you know, they're going to start asking for, you know, certain things in their chapter probably in. You know, the only way to best understand it is by actually labbing it. So I have a wireless LAN controller and I also have some wireless APEs um, that I can connect to it. So getting able to learn how to use the wireless LAN controller, uh, being able to, you know, use the, you know, connect everything to the APEs and whatnot. So that's that's the gist of it. Um, what else? Yeah, Packet Tracer has a wireless LAN controllers in it too as well. I haven't tried GNS3. Um but I'm pretty sure they probably got a wireless LAN controller somewhere in there. But I have an actual physical one that I can use. So I will definitely take take and use that and just learn how to use it. So that's that, right? Um, that's pretty much what I'm, I'm literally going to be going through this entire book. Um, and that's going to be based on all of the content I read here. Do the first six read the first six and if there's any possibilities for labs while i'm reading the chapters definitely do it go and read the next six skills once i'm done with that will not read but watch then i read those six skills lab if i need to do that go and do the next six skills and just keep doing that over and over and over again um what has helped me is not taking notes when watching the videos um, I feel like I retain more information when I don't take notes when I'm watching the videos. When I'm reading a book, it's a slightly different story. Uh, but I, I, I find that I retain information more when I just don't take notes at all, unless I really, really need to take notes. But I don't find myself taking notes a lot. And I've even noticing that during my uh, WGU classes is when I don't take notes, I retain and comprehend more. So... You got to find what's good with you, right? I don't use any, like, cards or anything like that. Like that, I can't, <laughs> I can't uh, retain information like that. But really, it's just watching and doing. This is this is how I retain my information. Watching and doing, less writing. Because when I write, I kind of don't pay attention because I'm paying attention on what I'm writing. So I just watch, and then I do. And that's how I learn. So, yeah, that's a, this is a breakdown of how I go about my studying um doing i'm gonna go after this ccmp enterprise core lab a bunch i got physical gear and i got like two cisco nexus coming so i'm definitely going to be working with those as well i got an entire network rack i think it's like a 27u coming i'm going to set all that up um i have a ton of switches and a router so <laughs> i got that coming i got gns3 running on my server uh, so yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to get this done. Um, I want to try to get this done in the next several months. So we'll see how things go. See you.